Here in a chateau just outside of Paris, the International Confederation of Free Trade Unions runs a school for organizers, where they learn how to deal with management. Because the free unions can't depend on good bosses to get them the benefits they need. They can only depend on themselves. This class is for railway men. Jacques has been delegated by his fellow workers to attend. Today they're listening to a lecture about the different procedures by which the railwaymen's union can settle disputes with management. Le secteur qui lui correspond à ce que je vous indiquais tout à l'heure, c'est-à-dire l'arrondissement. Ensuite, l'union de régions qui correspond... The subject's complicated, but it's all important to these men. It's the knowledge they need if they're going to win better wages and conditions. ...à la direction SNCF et également qui doit des rapports... The free trade unions are recruiting new members every day attracting votes from the men in the shops. Jacques takes the new member along to the union hall to attend one of the monthly meetings of the railwomen's local. Union meetings in France are usually lively. That's the end of item three on the agenda. Item four brings up sharply a big question for the free trade unions in France. The communist union has asked them to join in a mass demonstration on workers' wages. It's another communist attempt to swallow up again the Democrats who broke away in 1948. The chairman calls for views from the floor. This man isn't a communist, but he says the workers never get anywhere unless they stick together. De convaincre l'ensemble des ouvriers, l'ensemble de nos camarades de travail, car ça n'est que par l'unité et par la masse que nous arrivons à faire avoir un résultat. Nous savons trop ce qu que nous ont coûté les différentes scissions. Let him have his say, the chairman says. He's got a point of view and he's entitled to it. This man wants no truck with the Reds. Well, we can't give you all the speeches, but in the end, the chairman puts the matter to a vote. Those in favor of combined action with the Communist Union? One, two, three, four. Those against? Well, a big majority. Because these men know that the only way for France is the democratic way.